It may only be the middle of summer, but the Home Depot is in full swing for Halloween 2023. They have introduced some new creepy animatronics as well as bringing back some fan favorites. Kicking things off with Jack Skellington. Jack stands at a whopping 13 feet high. He just might be the tallest Halloween decor piece that the Home Depot has ever introduced. He is dressed in his typical black suit with the bat tie that he is known for. Jack sings three melodies from Jack's Lament, and that is the song earlier in the movie when Jack is walking through the graveyard, and he's singing about being the Pumpkin King. Another cool thing about Jack, he has color-changing LED lights, he's motion sensor activated, and perhaps the coolest thing about Jack is he has interchangeable face plates, so you can have Happy Jack, or you can have a Jack that looks a little bit angrier like this one here. I think that is probably one of the coolest things. I'd probably make Jack Happy Jack during the day and switch him to Angry Jack at night. Next up is the 12-foot towering ghost. This is a giant-sized towering ghost that has LED lights, blue LED lights that flash different patterns and has kind of like an eerie glow to it. It's definitely going to spook your trick-or-treaters as they are coming by. Up next, we have the boogeyman. The boogeyman stands at an intimidating eight feet tall. He is sensor activated and will speak and move once he detects motion. The boogeyman speaks several different phrases in a deep and scary voice, sure to intimidate your guests. His arms and eyes are illuminated by LED lights, giving him a scary, glowing appearance. Personally, what I find to be the most scary about him is his mouth, or maybe lack thereof. He's super creepy. Marie the Maid is one of the less scary animatronics the Home Depot has introduced this year. Marie stands at five and a half feet tall and has piercing LED eyes that will follow your every movement. She is designed for both indoor and outdoor use. She has multiple spooky sayings and animated arms, including one that is clutching a feather duster and the other that has a bottle of wine in it. So look out. Marie would pair well with Dean the Deathologist, who was introduced in recent years. The two would make a very interesting and scary pair. Here we have the six and a half foot animated grave digger. His motion sensors detect movement, which triggers spooky sound effects. He is best suited for an indoor space, though I wonder where would you place him in your home? Let me know in the comments down below. I would love to know. He has different spooky sayings sure to scare your guests, as well as realistic LED glowing eyes for an even more frightening effect. And let's not forget his owl pal with the glowing yellow eyes. Someone has to keep a lookout while he is digging up graves. Let me know in the comments below if this spell casting witch is new this year for 2023. This is the first time I remember seeing her, but then again, I am eight and a half months pregnant and have had a bad case of baby brain this go around. That said, either way, this creepy spell casting witch stands at six feet tall. Her eyes have an eerie bright glow that allow her to read off and cast her spells. She is suited for both indoor and outdoors, but it is recommended that she is covered if placed outdoors. It's probably best to follow this recommendation as you wouldn't want to upset a spellcasting witch, right? The next set of creepy animatronics is from the Swamp Collection at the Home Depot. As far as I know, these are new to 2023, but let me know if otherwise down in the comments down below. This Swamp Collection is sure to spook anyone. First up, we have the Marsh Monster who is seven and a half feet tall. The marsh monster has infrared motion sensors that detect even the quietest passerby, and he's sure to spook anyone with his creepy sound effects and synchronized body movements. He has a sturdy metal support frame to allow him to withstand even the swampiest of outdoors. If you're wondering what exactly is a marsh monster, well, he is an upright reptilian figure with antlers. 
He's wearing tattered clothing, which makes me think, was he once human turned beast? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Next up in the swamp, we have the wide animated predator of the night. You will need quite a bit of space to host this guy. He is nine feet tall and has a wingspan of 12 and a half feet wide. His realistic wings glow red, giving the appearance of blood coursing through his veins. He is able to withstand the outdoors, though I am not exactly sure how he could fit inside anyone's house with that wide of a wingspan. He has glowing LED eyes and wings and a built-in motion sensor that automatically activates his head and mouth, giving those walking by quite the spook. This guy might be the creepiest in the entire swamp collection, as he seems so lifelike to me. The swamp fisherman sits at six and a half feet tall. Imagine how big he would be if he stood up. His infrared sensor activates his rocking motion, his sound, and his light-up LED eyes. He is the perfect addition to anyone's spooky front porch. I find him to be the creepiest because of the rocking motion. Like, look how realistic that is. Even the way his feet push off of the floor seems so lifelike. What do you guys think? Is he super creepy or is it just me? Even his fish is creepy. <laughs> Lethal Lily the Witch may give the swamp fisherman a run for his money as far as who is scarier. I still say the swamp fisherman, but Lily is a close second. She is seven feet tall, and just looking at her, you can tell she is up to no good. She has realistic movements, including her eyes and mouth. She has several witchy phrases that she will tell you once she is set off by her motion sensors. LED lights illuminate her, as well as her staff and her frog friend. Now, was this frog once a human, or is it just her pal to help cast some swampy spells? What do you think? She is built for both indoors and outdoors. However, there is no way I could have her inside my house. Pretty sure she'd terrify me if she went off in the middle of the night. Here we have the seven foot swamp scarecrow. This spooky scarecrow has both a foot pad and motion sensors that will activate him. If he is activated, he will snap his arms and make spooky noises. He can be used indoors or covered outdoors. He would pair well with any of the other swamp creatures or make for a great addition to your porch for a solo performance. Check out how creepy he is with his LED light up eyes and LED light up chest. If sci-fi horror is your thing, then THD 3000 is for you. This robot is so realistic and lifelike. THD 3000 is motion sensor activated and has realistic movements, especially in the face. This robot can be both indoors and outdoors and stands at seven feet tall. This robot gives me major eye robot vibes, like big time. The working eye and eyelid are definitely the creepiest part in my opinion. This would definitely scare me if I stumbled upon it as someone's Halloween decor. Does anyone know what THD stands for? I am not up to speed on my robot and AI lingo. Let me know in the comments down below. Finally, we have some returning favorites that I had to include. Most notably, Skelly the Skeleton. Skelly is one of those impossible to get Halloween decor pieces. However, something interesting happened this morning. When I woke up at 5.30, I logged on to the Home Depot website and I was able to add him to my cart. I could not believe it. I got as far as I could without clicking the final purchase button. I entered in all my information and everything and it didn't time out. I was really shocked. I would have loved to have added Skelly to our home for our Halloween decor for 2023, but he would definitely freak out my three-year-old every time she saw him, so I had to pass. We will just have to enjoy him from afar when we visit the Home Depot for now. But I'm curious, let me know in the comments down below if you were able to get your hands on Skelly the Skeleton this year. Is it just that he's been around for so long? Let me know in the comments down below. Some other returning favorites include the 12-foot animated Hovering Witch, she soars through the sky and is sure to give your neighbors 
quite the fright. We also have the eight foot animated smoldering reaper of souls. Just his title is creepy to me. One thing to note, he is recommended for indoor or covered outdoor use. Just remember, you have to protect his red cape from the elements. And finally, we have the Inferno Pumpkin King. My guess is the Home Depot created him in order to satisfy those who could not get their hands on Skelly the Skeleton. One of our neighbors down the street had one of these Pumpkin Inferno guys, and we had to avoid driving past it as often as possible. My then two-year-old, who was the three-year-old I mentioned earlier, was not a fan. So, like I said, we had to avoid driving by if we could. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you made it till the end, for one thing, I really appreciate it. And also, if you made it to the end, please leave me a skeleton emoji so that I know you made it to the end. We have a lot more fall and Halloween content coming your way, and we would love for you to hit that red subscribe button down below and join us for all of the spooky Halloween fun ahead. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.